Tell me one good reason why I should try continuing to fight it What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, the mechanical keyboard that I've been using for about 6 months now is the Rack Keymat XT2 with the Gatron brown switches. Shout out again to Rack Gears for supplying me with a unit. Some of you were actually requesting a review of this and as you read from the title of this video, this is the Rack Keymat XT2 after 6 months. So this is gonna be a review on how the Keymat XT2 has held up for the past 6 months. So first are some things you need to take note. The Keymat XT2 comes with the Gatron blue or brown variants. Only comes in black and unfortunately has no swappable switches. It has a metal top panel, two side metal parts that sort of acts like reinforcements for the XT2. It has white LEDs for the NAM lock, caps lock, scroll lock, and windows key lock. And the plastic body which overall makes for a solid build quality. At the bottom are 4 rubber feet, 2 kickstands, and a routing hole for the cable depending on your setup. It has a thick braided cable and a good plated USB connector. Of course, the usual RGB backlighting with 14 different lighting modes, full 104 key rollover, and macro functions which you can customize through the Rockfine Tuner software. Although what makes the Keymat XT2 different from other keyboards in general is 1. The key characters are etched at the front side of the keycaps which at first I thought was gonna be annoying when I first saw it but actually didn't look that different from the usual top edge characters from other keyboards. Either way, it's not a big deal to me as I don't usually look at the keyboard when I'm typing. And two are the side LEDs which unfortunately you can't customize through the software. So function plus page up to cycle through the different lighting modes, function plus page down to change the brightness, and function plus N to change the color. And you won't be able to sync it with the top LEDs. Or you can just turn it off altogether. So the Keymat XT2 still looks almost the same the day I unboxed it and shows little to nowhere. So of course, depending on what kind of user you are, if you're the type to lift and slam a keyboard when raging, then of course, whichever keyboard you have, don't expect it to last you for maybe a month. But what I can say, as a user who slams my hands on the keyboard when raging, and yes, I do rage sometimes when I'm gaming, you know, when you're having a bad day and for some reason you feel like that the game you're playing is f with you, or you coincidentally run into a modder or cheater. BAM! Of course, I'm not gonna do it intentionally. So that's the type of user I am and so far, still no input lag, no latency. The switches are as responsive and still feel the same as the first time I used it. The LEDs are as bright as I can remember and honestly, I haven't had any issues with the Keymat XT2 so far. Although I would've loved it if you can sync the side LEDs to the top LEDs, well, technically, you can by manually changing it. Not really syncing, but um, the saming? I mean, what? One weird thing is that they actually indicate that the Gatron Browns have a 55 gram actuation force. Which is weird as brown mechanical switches in general have a lighter actuation force compared to something like blue switches. So just based on using them and comparing them to my Keymat XTLE which has Ultima Blues, I would say that these have a lighter actuation force of about 45 grams and the usual 2mm actuation point. For me, brown switches are the best all-around use mechanical switch. Um, blue or green switches for those who type a lot and don't really play games that much or don't play games at all. And red switches are the second best for gaming just behind the MX Speed switches. And if you decided to buy a Keymat XT2 and can't decide whether to get the Gatron blue or brown variants, um, if you game a lot, get the browns. If you type a lot, get the blues. But I guess in the end, it all comes down to personal preference. So both the blues and browns are tactile switches, meaning they have that tactile bump whenever a key is being registered. But blues are much heavier switches and offers that audible click sound whenever a key is being registered. And here's a quick sound test. So either way, the Rock Keymat XT2 is a great mechanical keyboard I can easily recommend to anyone, especially for the price of $2695. But if you want something in my opinion is a better value, then check out the Techware Phantom TKL or full-size keyboard which has swappable mechanical switches, RGB, and you can choose among Ultimo reds, browns, and blue switches. So I'll leave the links to the Keymat XT2 in the description of this video if you guys want to buy one. And I think that's gonna do it. If you guys have any questions, just leave it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Leave a like, dislike if you feel like you have to. And if this is your first time to the channel, then consider subscribing. As always, bookmark and use my Lazada affiliate link when buying at Lazada and donate to my Patreon to support the channel. Also, follow me on Twitter for updates and announcements. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.